Mm -hmm. The jurisdiction and venue? Yeah. Uh, the level of court that can issue the protection order. Mm -hmm. uh, the ex parte protection orders can be issued by the district, municipal, or superior. Yep. Final orders. Uh, a final order cannot be issued by a court of limited jurisdiction. Yes. When a superior court has exercised or is exercising jurisdictions over proceeding. Yep. Involving the party. Oh. Or the petition for relief presents issues of residential schedule of and contact with the children of the parties. Yeah. The petition for relief under RCW 26.50 requests the court to exclude a party from the dwelling. Uh-huh. Uh, which the parties share. Mm -hmm. Now, um, this authority of the Superior Court. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Co court Commissioner Brent Basden. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the authority to enter final protection order, even such authority, is not specifically granted in 2.24.040. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's this uh, idea that the Superior Court of Guam had the probation. Mm -hmm. I had the right to expungement, yes. And even though she said she had imminent fears about myself, mm -hmm. uh, when the arrest record and the court hearings were expunged, yes, there was no reason for you to believe anything she said. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm not going to do a realignment. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sue you and have you put in prison. Yes. See, the, the idea of me having a protection order against my wife. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's really kind of stupid. Right. Mm -hmm. Am I fearful of her? No. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Is she going to kick my ass? Ooch. Am I concerned that she's going to abuse my sons? Yes. Mm -hmm. See, we're not going to do the realignment. That's something when you have notice. Yes. And a hearing. Right. Because the respondent's rights were protected. Oh. Before issuing a final order. Yes. Is I go to court. Yes. And I explain to the court commissioner. Yes. My wife committed uh, abuse while we were on Guam when she hit me. Oh. <laughs> and then you as a court, you actually look at the petitioner and you realize, you know what? Mm -hmm. You've been lying. Yes. Now, this realignment usually takes place when you enforce the requirements of law to issue a court order. Yeah. You have proof of service that the petitioner served the respondent. Yes. Yes, yes. You have a court hearing where the respondent and the petitioner both appear in court before a fair and impartial magistrate. Yes. And before you issue that permanent court order, yes, you hear from the respondent that the individual known as the petitioner yes. committed domestic violence while we lived on Guam. Ah. Now, I, as the respondent, did not telephone the police department that day. Yes. Because my thought was, you hit me, you struck me. Uh-huh. And it really didn't hurt that much. Oh, oh, oh. Now, the realignment happens when you enforce the due process rights of the respondent. Mm -hmm. I don't want you realigning your fraud. No, he doesn't. Mm. <laughs>